Hi and welcome today I will show you in a quick video how I prepare my images for wood with the image are offline version. Let's go. If you have bought the image are offline version, you can choose between two different apps which are installed automatically. I have also attached the link to the offline version in the video description. The image are tools app contains all features like creating puzzles, removing background, enhancing images and much more. The ImageR app is the main app to process images for laser engravings, therefore we open the ImageR app. As you see on the left side are all the different functions we need, and we work from top to bottom. Let's start with uploading an image by clicking on the upload icon. Next one would be the crop option. Since the image doesn't need to be cropped I will continue with the next option, resize. I will change the measurement to millimeters and change the width to 250. The height calculates automatically in ratio. The correct DPI for my laser is 212, if you're not sure about your DPI check the video in the upper right corner. Next tab is the material option, I will use the new Skeldon algorithm since I really love it. Of course I choose wood, because I engrave on birch plywood. On this image, I am really unhappy with the very black spots on the wheels and the bottom of the car. Therefore I will increase the gamma value to 2.3 to get rid of that. As you see we have now way more details than before and it will burn way cleaner. The next problem for me is the white spot at the back of the car with basically no dots at all. So I will decrease the brightness to bring some dots back in this area. As you see we have now dots everywhere which is good. I think we can even decrease brightness a little bit more, to even get more dots on the back. The next option is the preview feature, where you can see your image on your current material, in my case on wood. You can also choose between different wood types, I use birch. The next icon is for saving the image. As you see it automatically adds the algorithm you used, and the DPI value to your file name. In my case Geldon and 212 DPI. After saving in BMP we can move on and open the laser program. I use RD Works. I will engrave this image with 200mm per S speed and 16% power on my 80 watt CO2 laser. Double click on the layer in the upper right and change the interval matching to your DPI. For 212 DPI, you would need 0.12mm. Now we are done, the last step is to hit start and wait until it is engraved. As you see it turned out awesome. I really like the Skeldon algorithm, it also works perfectly for Slate as well. I hope this video helped some of you and you enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe our channel, like the video and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.